Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we are going to solve a few area and perimeter problems. The first problem here is to solve the area of this orange shaded area. Okay, It is like a picture frame. And we are given that this is 30 centimeters, this is 35, and the width of this frame everywhere is 4 centimeters. So, what is the area of this frame, actual frame? There's at least two ways to solve it. And one way that I like a lot is that we think of the two rectangles involved. You know, the actual frame is kind of an odd shape, but the inside here is just a plain rectangle. And the outer shape here is also a rectangle. If I find the areas of those two rectangles and subtract, if I find the area of this outer rectangle and then take away the area here then what I have left is the area of the frame. So let me try that first. I would find the area of the outer rectangle which is 30 times 35 is 0 and then 15 okay there it is and then the area of the inner rectangle we don't have the side lengths for that though. How long is this side and how long is that side? Now, we can calculate it because there's 4 centimeters and 4 centimeters. This here, this whole thing is 30. And then I take away 4 and 4 and then I get this here. Got it? 30 take away 4 and 4 on both sides gives me this. This here is 22. And then, in a similar manner, this distance here would be 35, take away 4, take away 4. 35 minus 8. So that's 27. So this way we would have 27 centimeters. Inner rectangle. That's my inner rectangle, and that is 27 times 22 centimeters. And it is 594 square centimeters. Now all that is left is to subtract, right? 1050 minus 594. Okay, I need to regroup here. 6 and then regroup again. And now I get 40 minus 9 is 5. Okay. This is my final answer for the shaded area. I want to show you the other way to solve it too. And that is that we just take this shaded area as a polygon and divide it into rectangles. For example, one way to divide it into rectangles is this way. Now I have a rectangle here and then there. Okay, now it is four rectangular pieces, right? This is a rectangle, this is a rectangle, here's one more, and here's one more. And two of those rectangles are identical, these two, and then these two are also identical. So that speeds up our cal calculations a little bit. This rectangle, number one, would be 4 centimeters times 35. Okay, these are centimeters. And that's the same as 2 times 70. It is 140 square centimeters. And, and rectangle number 2, I'm sorry, yeah, this one is the same. 2 also will be the same. Then this one here, okay, it would be this, which is 22 times 4. 22 centimeters times 4 centimeters is 88 square centimeters and then the last rectangle would be of course the same. And now you would add those four and you will get the same 456 square centimeters. Over here we have this odd shape and we're gonna need to find its perimeter and area. Let's work on the perimeter first. It has a lot of those side lengths already, and of course perimeter, all you need to do is just add all these side lengths together. That's all there is to it. 
But this side we don't know. And this side we don't know. We can figure them out though. Because in total, this side here is 35. So these vertical sides here, this and this and this also must add up to 35 centimeters. Okay? There's 10 and 15. That's 25. So this must be 10. 10 units. And the same principle works this way, is horizontally, okay? We have 20 and 20 horizontally going that way. So coming back, so to speak, we also have to have 30 and something that makes 40. So this must be 10. Okay, now we are ready to calculate the perimeter. Just add up all these numbers that we see. These two are easy to add together first because they make 50. So I have 50 and then 30, 40, there's a 50. Another 50 from these three. So 50 and 50 is 100, and then there's 50 more. The perimeter is 150 units. Let's see if we are as lucky with the area, because the perimeter ended up being fairly easy. For the area, I need to divide this whole thing into rectangles. And there's several ways to do this, you know. You will most likely get three rectangles whichever way you go. For example, this one way. But there are several ways, like I said. Now, this one here, let me name them like A, B, and C. The area of rectangle A is easy. There's 10 times 10. It would be 100 square units. How about B? B is 15 this way. How long is it this way? Okay, this is 30 and then 10 more. So it is 40 times 15, which is 600 square units. And then the rectangle C over there, okay, 20 times 10, not too difficult, 200 square units. Now all we do is add them. Okay, 3 plus 6 is 900, the area is 900 square units. It ended up being pretty easy after all, don't you think? I hope this was helpful.